And there's a couple different ways that you can be asked to find a z-score. One of the ways that you can be asked is to find a percentile. And remember, with percentiles, we always start from the left for percentiles. On our curve, the bottom is the left of the curve, and the top is another phrase for the right of the curve. So let's go ahead and do an example. I'm asked to find the bottom 75% of a curve. This is the same thing as being asked to find the top 25% of a curve. So let's go ahead and look at our picture. So we've got our bell-shaped curve. I know there's 50% on each side of the curve, so if I'm trying to find the bottom 75%, then I'm gonna go 50% to the middle, and then a little bit further past that. So my z-score is somewhere to the right of zero. I don't necessarily know if it's lined up right, but I at least know it's gonna be a positive number. I've got 75% on the left and 25% on the right. So the bottom 75% shares a wall with the top 25%. And that 25% is from the complement, right? One minus 75 gives me the 25%. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the table looking for 0.75. Okay, so in the table, we found that in row 0.6, under column 07, there was the number 7486, which was too small. And under column 08, there was 7514, which was too big. The number 75 that we were looking for would have been in between those two numbers. And remember, if you saw it as a four-digit number, it'd be 7500. So we know that our number would be in between those, so we need to find their distance. One is 0 0.0014 away and the other number is 0 0.0017 away. So 14 feet away from something is closer than 17 feet, so we're gonna get our z-score from the 7486 value to use the 0 0.6 and 0 0.07 so that we can put those as an answer of 0 0.067. Now be careful when you get 0 0.67, stop. Do not move the decimal and make that answer into a percentage. The answer is a z-score. It's not a probability question, so don't move the decimal. And then that same question that we just did, how would we have asked the question in percentile notion? So instead of saying find the bottom 75%, the question could have read find P75, remember P stands for percentile versus Q for quartile, and a subscript on the right tells you which percentile. So we could have actually said Q3, right? Okay, so I said there's a couple different ways. One way is to ask as a percentile. The other way is Z alpha, where alpha is a subscript, that's the Greek lower case letter A, and as a subscript, it's telling you to find area to the right. Big deal, because P75 was area to the left, really, but Z alpha is gonna be area to the right. And you'll see that in a second in this next question. If I was asked to find the top 1%, this is the same thing as being asked to find the 99th percentile, P99, the bottom 99%, or Z01, that new terminology, because remember, the top 1% is area to the right, and Z uses area to the right. So there's lots of ways to ask the same question, and in all of these cases, I'm given the number that's in the middle of the table, I have to find a Z-score. So if I drew my curve, and I wanted to find the top 1%, which is a decimal is 0 0.01, or, you know, 0 0.0100 to see it as a four-digit number. Now, keep in mind, the table finds area to the left, and we wanted to look, that means we're going to have to look up the complement to find area to the right. So I'm going to have to take 1 minus 0 0.01 to get 0 0.99. That's the number I'm going to look for in the middle of the table. So let's go to the table. Okay, so from the table, I found that in row 
under column O2, I had 9898, 98, which was smaller than I wanted, right next to the number 9901, which was bigger than the number I wanted. 99 would have been right in between them. So I see how far away they are. The first number is 102, 102 feet away. The next number is just one foot away, one unit. So that's the closer number, and that's what I'm gonna be using to get my answer, which my answer box isn't here, but it's on yours. I got 2.33. So if you're in the top 1%, you are 2.33 standard deviations above average.